Senator Bernie Sanders fundraising in Detroit just days before he'll take the stage at Fox Theater for the second Democratic debate. Tonight, the presidential candidate held an event in downtown Detroit at the Park Bar. And that's where we find 7 National News reporter Jen Shans live for us tonight. And Jen, how are Sanders supporters feeling ahead of the upcoming debate? Well, Brian, the Sanders supporters we spoke to say the senator from Vermont is the Democrat who said it first, especially when it comes to health care. Medicare for all is a priority for a lot of Democratic voters right here in southeast Michigan. Detroit's Democratic voters feeling the burn weren't shy about why the U.S. senator from Vermont should be the next president. Medicare for all. Definitely criminal justice reform and social justice issues. Definitely the Green New Deal. Many supporters at the Park Bar for Saturday's fundraising event have been in the senator's camp for years. I am here because I voted for him in the primary last time around. He won the Democratic primary in Michigan in 2016, but failed to get the party's nomination. Followed him since uh, his first campaign. And um, I think his issues have just become more relevant. Chief among them, Medicare for all and holding Big Pharma accountable. And you know why they made $69 billion in profit? Because they charge us the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. Sanders is heading over the river to Windsor Sunday, along with diabetes patients, to buy cheaper insulin. It's part of his ongoing efforts to show Big Pharma's negative effect on Americans' access to affordable drugs. One out of five Americans cannot afford the medicine their doctors prescribe. Sanders has garnered a lot of support among millennial Democrats, but Selma Good, at 96, has been supporting him for 20 years. He stood for all of the right things from the beginning, and you have to admit that's not a typical politician at all. And Jen, back live for us tonight, and what's the senator expecting to specifically highlight on this trip across the river? Well, Brian, an example of how he claims Big Pharma is putting American lives at risk for profit. He says he anticipates spending one tenth of the price on insulin just across the river in Ontario compared to what he would spend here in the United States. Brian. Jen Shans, live for us tonight in Detroit.